A blessed Monday to all. This is Sister Joy Ingrid of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for a people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Friends, we are amazed at the immediacy of the fishermen's response to the invitation of Jesus. But a closer look at their situation reveals to us the perfect timing of Jesus. The fishermen are ready for a new adventure. Because weariness and boredom with the daily grind has caught up with them. Simon and Andrew are casting their nets too close to the shore, and at daytime, in the desperate bid for a catch. John and James cannot even go out fishing because their nets are broken. Friends, here are seasoned fishermen whose skills cannot be put to maximum use because of the circumstances. Then comes Jesus inviting them to a new more immense and challenging fishing ground, from the Sea of Galilee to the Ocean of Humanity. Brothers and sisters, times of weariness and boredom can be promising moments of encounter with this irresistible missionary of the Heavenly Father, who offers us opportunities where our skills and talents will be put to maximum use for God's kingdom. Lord Jesus, in times of weariness and boredom, we will keep the door of our hearts open for you, for we too want to put our talents at the service of the kingdom. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, 
and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us.